Hello, my name is Keshwani. It's K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problem out of this book here, the T's study guide, official study guide, version 7, 2025. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Always make sure that this book is in front of you when you're working with me, when we're working together. Today's our lesson number 8. We are on page number 98. On page number 98, on the bottom of the page, there are five practice problems. We did number 1 already last time. We're going to pick up from number 2. Here we go. Three plus root of four times six minus four. As you can see, we have several operations here. We have addition, we have multiplication, we have subtraction, and then we have this guy. We'll talk about that guy in a second. So we're discussing the topic of order of operations, and we learned already that the order of operation has to be done. The operations must be performed in this order. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division, they have the same priority. We move from left to right, whichever appears first. Then we do addition and subtraction. Again, they have the same priority. Whichever appears first, moving from left to right, we'll do that first. And this is what we have here. So do we have any parentheses here? The answer is no. Do we have any exponents? The answer is yes, actually. The root sign that you see there, the root is considered an exponent. So we have to do that. We have to take care of that first. That is an exponent. Let's take care of it. 3 plus root of 4 is simply 2. Square root of 4 is 2. Times 6 minus 4. Write everything down again. Now we take a look at it one more time. We have addition, multiplication, subtraction. Multiplication comes next in the order. We did the exponents. That next is multiplication. We do this first. So we're going to take care of these two guys first. So we end up with 3 plus 12 minus 4. And now simply we have addition and subtraction, all we have to do is move from left to right. 3 plus 12 is 15, and 15 minus 4 is 11, and that is our answer. That was number 2. Let's look at number 3. 3. Number 3 says 15 plus 2 times root 5 over 11 minus 24 divided by 4. How do we tackle it? Before we do this problem, I'm going to rewrite this problem and I'm going to show you that the exact same problem could be, could have, uh, exact same problem could be, could have been presented to us in a very different form. Let's take a look at it. Exact same problem. So the top part, which is called the numerator, 15 plus 2 times 5 with the parentheses around it and this fraction sign there, this sign there, that simply means divide, and then the bottom part. Again, we open the parentheses, 11 minus 24 divided by 4. This problem that you see here is the exact same problem as that. In the exam, it could have been presented like that, it could be presented like that. The point we are trying to make here is that when, we are, when, they, when they give us something in the form of fraction, which is what it is, we have something on the top, something on the bottom, when something is presented in the form of fraction, but the fraction is not a straightforward fraction where you have one number on top of the one number on the top and one number on the bottom, but we have a whole bunch of things on the top and a whole bunch of things on the bottom. When that happens, we take care of the top separately and then we take care of the bottom separately. Just like you would have done here. If if it had been presented like this, we would have taken care of the parentheses first. So first we take care of everything that appears in the parentheses. So we're going to treat the numerator and denominator as two different things. Let's forget the the bottom part right now, let's just concentrate on this part. So if this is what is given to us, in order for us to open the parentheses, before we can open the parentheses, we have to take care of everything in the, inside the parentheses first. Multiplication comes first before the addition. So we have 15 plus 2 times 5, which is 10, and this is what you have in the parentheses, and that gives us 25. And that 25 is going to go on the top. Now that we have take, taken care of the top, we do the bottom. Do them separately. It makes it much easier. 11 minus 24 divided by 4. Now we do the bottom. We have subtraction and we have division. Of course, division comes much before subtraction. Division has a priority, so we do the division first. 24 divided by 4, so we have 11 minus 6, which is going to give us 5. And that's what we have on the bottom. 
as you can see now, it's a straightforward deal, nothing to it. Divide top and bottom by 5 and we end up with a grand total of 5. That's the answer. Answer number 3 is 5. Let's take a look at number 4. In number 4 we have 15, 50 rather, minus 2 cube times 3 plus 9 plus 6 over 3. The same thing. Anything that, anything that appears in the parentheses, we have to take care of that first. We have to take care of this entire thing first. We're going to do it separately. This 2 raised to 3 times 3. That's what we have in the parentheses. We have to figure out what that is so we can put it in there. 2 raised to 3 is 8 times 3 because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 times 3. That's going to give us 24. Now that we know what the quantity is in the parentheses, we can put there 24. And now that, is, now that we have done that, there is no need for parentheses because we took care of it. We figured out what was in the parentheses. And that's what, that's what the problem boils down to. So what we have here is 50 minus 24 plus 9 plus 6, which is 15. 15 divided by 3 would be 5. Here we have 15 divided by 3, which is 5. And now we have subtraction and addition. Which one do we, which one do, we do first? Do we do the addition first because the addition appears on the top and then the subtraction? The answer is no, which is why they are in the box. As I keep reminding you, addition and subtraction have the same priority and the rule is that you move strictly from left to right. Whichever appears first, that's the one we do first. So 50 minus 24 is what we're going to do first. 50 minus 24, 50 minus 25 would have been exactly 25. Therefore, 50 minus 24 must be 26, one more. Because we are not subtracting 25, we are subtracting 24. So it's 26 plus 5, and the answer is 31. Answer number 4 is 31. This is number 5. In number 5, we have 17 plus 18 minus 2 times 3 over. 6. Again, here we have a fraction here, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take care of the fraction first. First, we're going to figure out the top part 18 minus 2 times 3. Treat this as a quantity in itself. Treat this as a quantity in itself. And here we have subtraction and multiplication. Which one should we do first? Of course, the multiplication comes first. So we do 18 minus 2 times 3 which is 6 and that's going to give us 12. That's what goes on the top. That's what goes on the top. So that top part, everything that we see there is simply 12. Now we can take care of it. 12 divided by 6 is going to be 2. We're done. 19 plus 2 is 17 plus 2 is 19. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So 17 plus 2 is 19 and that's the answer to number five. And that was the very last question on that page. That's the end of the show. We'll meet again tomorrow. And we are officially done with the concept of parentheses. Or rather, we are officially done with the concept of PEMDAS, order of operations. We have done quite a few problems dealing with this concept. And now we are done with it. We're going to meet again tomorrow. We're going to start something new on page number 101. Okay? Bye now.